Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to another JF Clash episode. Today, we are on our main account. But as you can see, it's not our main base. This is our builder base today. And if you've been keeping up with me the last couple, uh, I guess last week or so, I got an awesome opportunity by Aster to join his Community Cup tournament uh, with some of the biggest creators in the space, uh, like Judo Sloth, Itsu, uh, and Clash Bashing, and that's just to name a couple more. Uh, but we are currently uh, a week into this tournament or so. First rounds were last weekend. Next round is next weekend. Uh, my team is 1-1 one one overall, uh, and it is a double elimination tournament, right? We lost the first round to Itsu, beat Judo Sloth in the second round, and now in the lower bracket, we are facing Itsu again. So today, I kind of just wanted to show you how my practice and progress has been going overall. Uh, and I, I typically would tell you, hey, Builder Base is not my favorite game mode in the game. And I think mainly, and I feel like a lot of people would agree with me in that sense, but I feel like one of the core reasons why maybe it's not people's favorite thing in the game is because you unlock the sixth builder from it then after that it just feels like there's no progression that really needs to be made right there's no wars that you need to work up towards there's no cwl so people kind of pop in here for clan games or if you are obviously at want to push you can do that but other than that right there's really no point and i know you can say that about uh the main base as well but you do have those wars to fall back onto but when I've had time to just practice and play, I feel like people, or I at least, have uh, gained a greater appreciation for Builder Base just because it is very difficult. And if, if you want a challenge, I would recommend uh, giving it a second chance. But today, let's go in, and our defenses probably won't hold out that well just because, well, I'm upgrading uh, two defenses at the moment. And when you're in, I'm basically the Legends League equivalent of builder base uh these attackers are so good that with this one archer tower down they can basically wreck through my base but let's mainly focus on the attack portion of things and i've done a pretty good job i i, I have as i talked about in my most recent live stream i have uh, spent some books and whatnot to try to get a little bit closer to max overall uh, but I use uh, probably, as Astro was saying, almost one of the most hated strategies in the game, uh, Dropship Pekkas. Uh, I, I believe Dropship Minions is the most hated, but I'm trying to learn Dropship Pekkas uh, just because the Baby Dragons really weren't working that well for me overall. Uh, but this is pretty much my thought process of how this attack strategy works, right? Uh, so we are looking for uh, basically hero uh, value here. And, and what is our value that I'm looking for? Uh, anytime we can get the roaster down or any double cannons down that is very good so what i see is the only thing that can basically outrange our uh, our air siege is going to be a archer tower um obviously the air bombs and i think the air expo other than that you're pretty much in the clear so i think if i place this air uh, uh basically hero down right here and he can take out this air defense uh, I should be able to destroy all of uh, this, uh, meaning my uh, the double cannon and the roaster, and give great value for the rest of our attack. And then I'm going to set the funnel on this side with this cannon cart. Cannon cart ranges are very, very tight. They're, they're interesting, right? Uh, this cannon cart is down right here, but traditionally I would want to stop this right here because the range of the cannon cart is about to the edge of cannons. That's what I kind of struggled with the most. But as we can see... I guess the roaster does have range of us here, which is kind of annoying. Uh, and this is things of uh, why I wanted to practice anyways. But I am then going to place down our P.E.K.K.A.S. I'm going to place down our, uh, basically, our balloons as well. And what I was told is basically you want to pop these abilities as soon as possible. Because, well, they open up the map and they give uh, basically ability for our P.E.K.K.A.S. to go in and do some work overall they also drop some skeletons which will distract overall and you see where i tried to place it the mega tesla is always a big concern for the pekka so if you can take that down early that is huge and i also wanted to place some in front of our siege machine because if we can keep that alive we're going to be in great shape for the rest of the attack uh a lot of times i just keep this cannon cart kind of steady but as you can see we are kind of running low on time so i do want to end up moving this around uh, and now that I know that I should be able to get everything down, I am going to stop this. And, and a lot of times people are like, why are you stopping that? 
Well, if I keep having it move around, it's most likely or possibly going to hit a trap and then we could be in trouble, right? And what do I mean by trap? I guess I mean big bomb or something along those lines. Uh, but being able to bring three troops to the next stage is very, very good. Uh, this is kind of where I struggle the most is the second phase, closing down the uh, the deal here. Uh, what I was told by Asher was cannon carts are ridiculously overpowered in the second phase because they can pretty much outrange everything. So if you can see, if I put a cannon cart up here, it could outrange pretty much everything to this cannon. The only thing is this lava launcher could be an issue and this can giant cannon could be an issue. So what I kind of want to do here instead is let's switch we already have two one can car i think that's all i'm going to use i'm going to switch to a, another uh balloon and then just another pekka and we're pretty much going to do the exact same thing as we did last time and just hope for very similar results so where do i see some value here uh the best value that i see is potentially getting down this lava launcher because if i can get the lava launcher down then i have range of the pretty much the entire map so i'm going to place uh one lava launcher there i'm going to place the cannon cart right here just so i don't run out of time and i'm going to make sure to stop him pretty much right now i'm going to let him just snipe out these couple buildings as we wait and i know this uh, guy is in range right here hopefully hopefully uh it, he can move over he's not going the way i wanted to Th this is where uh it, you might have made a mistake jacob it's all right though can we get down the lava launcher no it's not looking that good i am instead going to go in with the pekkas just to make sure we do on this far side and once we do that i should have more ability to move things around i'm gonna use seven's ability right here i kind of talked about doing that a little bit earlier probably should have uh, been true to my word right there i'm gonna stop the cannon cart right there just in range of the cannon as we can see and this should do some damage on the outside uh the the balloon got pretty much not enough range and that's why the pekkas are walking around and getting absolutely annihilated right now uh not good not good at all uh but as you can see i told you i kind of struggle on the second phase so if you guys have any tips for me uh please please leave them in the comments section uh because this is gonna be a fail when it come tournament time obviously i am going to basically do all i can if i get to the second phase to get the five star because with that my professional players will hopefully clean up the rest but as we can see, look, even that little bit of range is too far for the cannon carts. So it's a very much of a finesse thing that you kind of have to, uh, to learn. Uh, but I will take it. If we can get to the second phase come tournament time, I'm a happy man. But let's go in and try it one more time. Another thing to consider is, hey, all these troops that I'm using are not max yet, right? Come tournament time, I am going to use a power potion. But I'm trying to max out this dropship. And it will be max by the time the tournament rolls around. Hopefully, I will have enough loot where I can upgrade these cannon carts as well. Because, like I said, I'm having a little bit more fun with it just because, well, it's it's very strategic. And I, I really didn't expect it to be that strategic. I kind of remember when it was just slap down all the baby dragons you have. You kind of do, you do fine, and that, that's pretty much it. Uh, but let's let's analyze this base again. Where, where do we see some good value? Uh, so double cannons are good to take down for the P.E.K.K.A.S. The Mega Tesla is pretty good, and then the Roaster. So what I'm seeing is if we can get this giant cannon down, we might be able to get to this Mega Tesla. So that, that's what I'm going to go with here. Uh, another key thing is we want to build up this guy's ability as fast as possible. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to place this down early, earlier than I would normally. Uh, but that's just to basically tank for uh, our, our, our troops here. Uh, tanking for our siege, I guess I, I should say. I'm going to pop this ability here as well. Pekka is down on it. I'm going to use six's ability. I'm going to use four's ability. And now, as we can see, I should be able to outrange everything else with this cannon cart on the back side. I believe I should be able to. I'm going to pop the ability right there. And we're looking decent. I'm going to use four's ability and five's ability to try to pop that giant cannon. And we need this other giant cannon to go down. I'm, I'm going to pop this ability. Uh, come on. Kill it. Kill it quicker for me. Uh, I need these P.E.K.K.A.S. on the second phase, if possible. Uh, nice, 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 nice. Uh, I'm going to then, now that it is being tanked for, I'm going to move this giant, this cannon into range here. That that spring trap actually helped us out tremendously. And I'm going to stop it again, just in case we run into a giant bomb. And we're moving on with our full health siege. Two P.E.K.K.A.S. 
and a mortar. As you see, I acted a little bit quicker that time, and I feel like uh, it's kind of, I'm, I'm treating it kind of like a queen walk, right? I try to relate everything back to the main village. You want to funnel out the sides, then send all the P.E.K.K.A.s into the core. Um, this time, if we can take out this cannon, or this mortar right here, we technically can outrange everything with the mortar. So what I'm going to do is switch to double mortar thing right here, and then I'm going to place my siege right here. He should be able to charge up his entire ability like that. And let's go here and pop this ability right away so it's right on the range. And do the exact same thing on this side. Popping that ability. There we go. We should be able to clear out pretty much both of these sides. And then the cannons uh, or the P.E.K.K.A.s should be able to just go right in the core. Look, we're destroying a double cannon here. We'll destroy another cannon here. Once we destroy this mortar... Our cannon cart should technically be able to just walk through the rest of the space. So this is this is looking great. I am going to tank on this back side of this cannon right here. Uh, and then let's go P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. And we should be in great shape here. Both cannons are now down. Uh, we are tanking right here. I'm going to use this ability right here. Pop this down to get the P.E.K.K.A.s into the base. Pop this bad boy. And the mortar popped up the Teslas here, or I guess the 50% did. So now we're kind of just waiting. I can move this next mortar into range. Oh, no, I know. I, I moved the wrong mortar. Uh, that's fine. We, we live. We now can move this mortar into range. I'm going to stop it right on the range of the Tesla here. And as we can see, uh, because we destroyed the multi-mortar, uh, as long as we keep these Teslas, basically, or these mortars out of range of the remaining defenses... We should be able to clean up. And that's why Astro was telling me, hey, the, the mortars are insane, 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 insane in the builder base on the second phase just because they pretty much outrange everything. And we, we've proved that here. I'm really, really happy that I was able to show off a six star and kind of show you what my basically hard work of practicing this has. It's paid off because I'm starting to actually understand the strategies and it makes it a lot of fun. So I'm going to try it one more time. Uh, see if we can get the star bonus going and then see if we can maybe get an upgrade. I guess we can't, right? We have both builders. I guess I might as well show you. I see I show you my progress for all my other bases. Here's my progress for my builder base. It's almost max, right? That, that's absolutely insane. So hopefully now that I kind of enjoy builder base, they'll actually update builder base and we'll get some form of builder base wars because if they added a builder base wars, I almost guarantee you people will play it, right? Uh, there has to be some kind of competitive edge other than competitive. So let's look at this one last time. What do we get? What, what do we want to get here? Well, we could take out some double cannons here. Cannons. This looks great. I think if I place right here, our uh, siege should... I, I'm, I keep calling it a siege. It's not a siege machine, but it will uh, store up its ability all the way to the top. And then we're going to funnel on this top side over here. This cannon can kind of work for a little bit. I just have to worry about the Archer Tower ranges. I'm going to stop it right there just so we don't get any further. Uh, I guess I could let it go a little bit further, but I'm always scared about moving the cannon too much because I feel like I mess up. But as we can see, look, the range is almost, uh, or the ability is almost maxed out here, and we should get some pretty good value just because this is on a uh, ground expo. I want to take down this double cannon, and then I'm going to place uh, this double cannon right on top here. And then I'm going to place one on this side, one on this side, and we got to go in here pretty soon. I'm going to go in now and now, two on this side, one on this side. We're going to place one's ability right there, two's ability right there, and we are looking good. We are looking very, very good. Now I can move uh, the cannon cart into action right here. I, again, want to be kind of uh, cautious of how far I move him up, uh, but so far, so good. I am going to pop this guy right in the center here. Use six's ability right here. Take that out. Take that out. And so you see, we are cooking. We are cooking with peanut oil here, folks. Uh, we have, looks like one of the P.E.K.K.A.s is going to go down. Oh, that's why I need to stop the mortar. Uh, if it doesn't look like I need to use it, I'm going to pop this P.E.K.K.A. right here. See if we can get this Tesla down. If we can get the Tesla down, we are in good shape. Nice. One of the P.E.K.K.A.s stays up. Oh, I think he's going to stay up. Can the Siege stay up? Nice. Siege does stay up as well. I might switch over, and this is where I need to kind of practice well. When do I need to switch over to the other Siege? It might be now, right? Uh, I keep calling it a Siege, dang it. Uh, other hero. So I think it's so low level, I might as well, and he will tank at the end of the day for the P.E.K.K.A.s. 
uh, but we kind of talked about what outranges the cannon carts. The Archer Tower will outrange it, Mortar, and the Giant Cannon. So this one is a little bit more tricky for uh, the, the Cannon Carts, so I'm probably not going to add an additional one there. Uh, but I guess I could add... Uh, yeah, actually, I am going to add one Cannon Cart, and then the rest I am going to add a... Let's add a Bomber. Uh, let's get a little bit wild and crazy here. Uh, I am going to place one Funnel Troop over here. Uh, again, its range should be right after this. I'm going to stop it. So give it a second. Now I'm going to stop it. And then this guy I am going to do over here. And I'm going to stop it right after this goes out. Actually, I'm going to stop it right here. All right, that works out. I'm going to send in the Siege in the corner just so he can charge up. And then I'm going to send a P.E.K.K.A. and a Bomber behind him. Uh, all right, this is looking good so far. Bomber is going to be at a cross angle along with the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, just to destroy these things. Again, we need to try to outrange as much as possible. I'm going to place the Bomber's ability. No, come on. Come on, Bomber. Go, go towards the middle of the base. Turn this guy down over here. Turn this guy over here. Uh, can we get a, a two star, please? Two star. Please. Five star, I mean. We need to just pop this thing. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Again, uh, come tournament time, I will take a five star. Like I said, still need to practice the second phase, but I'm feeling a whole lot more comfortable with the first phase. And that will be happening on Astro's stream um, on, um, I guess, Saturday. Saturday. I, I, I think... 2 o'clock Eastern is when I am on. So if you want to watch me try to not fail and beat Itsu in a revenge match, uh, go and check it out. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. We will be back to our main home village uh, videos tomorrow. But I wanted to show you guys my progress so far. And look, we're 50-74 uh, with some pretty solid attacks. And look, our defense is doing very, very solid even when we have one archer tower down. So, very, very good. I'll see you guys next time. I've been Jacob as always. Have a great day. Goodbye.